This one actually isn't um, jujitsu related. Well, it is jujitsu related, but it's something that I do and have done um, all, always for age, ages. Every, something that I've felt has been like a massive determining factor in all areas where I've had felt like I've had a lot of success, and that is just fucking show up. So <laughs> it's and then once you show up, you just you just show up again. Heaps of the time when it doesn't matter whether it's work or for a relationship or whether we said we wanted to, I don't know, watch a program or read a series of books or even ju or just do something. Most of the time, what happens is we're like, we tend to leave it until New Year's or, you know, like quitting smoking, for instance, always, you know, I'll quit on the first, that's gonna, that's gonna be the day. And then, you know, 2022 will be the year that I don't smoke or 2023 will be the first year. And it's always, but then it's the day after, you know, so then it's the second. Yeah, well, we don't really do it on the second. We'll do it on the third, and then third comes, and then so you, you do, um, you know, the last couple of days. And then it comes to the weekend, and you're like, you're doing pretty good, but then Sunday afternoon comes, and it's just, well, whatever the situation is. So the new diet, the new training regime, or the quitting smoking, or the stopping drinking, it always kind of gets um, blown out of the water. But what I'm trying to say is it's always going to get blown out of the water. Things are always going to change. There's always going to be setbacks, especially when it comes to something like Jiu-Jitsu. So there's always going to be, even when things are going great, there's going to be injuries. Um, you know, maybe you trained over the break and now you're just umming and ahhing about getting back into classes or um, you, you want to try out a new diet for the year or you've decided that yeah, you wanted to quit smoking this year or whatever it is. Um, even if it's, you know, a week in, you still haven't actually got around to doing it. All I'm trying to do, is, all I'm trying, saying right here, and uh, and well, the point I'm getting across is just start, just show up to one class, or just deny yourself one cigarette in the morning, or whatever it is, just start. Because you can always start and then start. You know what I mean? Like you can always show up to a class and then have a week off. You can always not smoke all morning and then have a smoke at lunchtime and go, can kill me. I survived until lunchtime. I mean, I'm not saying it's, it's, maybe it's not as good as the picture that you had of yourself in your head, but it's a damn good start. It's a lot of, it's a lot better than the people that don't start because then you never actually make that start and it gets all the way through January and you're like, oh, well, then it comes to the 1st of February. That's gonna be, don't do that to yourself. Just make one, make, take one little step. And even if, no, so to bring it back into Jiu Jitsu, if Jiu Jitsu is something that maybe you've had a month off training, or maybe you've had a couple of weeks off and you just haven't trained at all and you're like, oh, I'm, gonna be, I'm not gonna be fit enough to get back in. Well, don't come back in and train as hard as you did at the end of December. Maybe just come back in and muck around and just do a few things, just get a bit of a sweat going and just, you know, test the lungs out a little bit. Feel, feel like, okay, I have, I have actually got in. Don't even hang around for all the rolls. Just go, oh, got something going, make up an excuse and leave at least you got out there and did something. And then, because if you didn't, you'd probably felt bad about it and probably, you know, I don't know, sat on the couch and eat a pack of Doritos, whatever it is. But all I'm saying is make that start. And to, to wrap up what I was saying with, um, with something that I'm actually really proud of myself is if all of the things that have really worked really well, I've always sucked at for ages. Um, it's always always been terrible at doing like a lot of different things, but one thing I've just made myself keep doing, just keep showing up. Just keep showing up to a room of people that will beat me up, and eventually you start to be able to beat up them, well, some of them, I guess. Um, eventually, you know, if you wanna start a new diet or whatever it is, you know, even for instance, like years and years and years ago, I used to smoke um, 25 packets, I mean, 25 packets, 25 cigarettes a day, like a whole packet of winning blues. And um, I was like, I can't do this. This is killing me, you know? And so I'd quit and I'd quit literally every Monday I'd quit. And by Tuesday lunchtime, I'd be bumming a cigarette off somebody and Tuesday afternoon, I'd buy a pack of the smokes and I'd be back at it. And then I'd quit again and then it'd be the weekend. And there was many times I quit and quit and quit over and over and over and over again. Just kept on doing it until one day, it's just, I was finally like, you know what? I'm actually free at this. And then you don't need to smoke anymore. Some, some, as long as you just keep showing up, something inside the back of your head just says to you, hey, you've actually done this enough times, you've started this enough times, maybe that's you. So 
yeah, somebody said to me actually a really good point in this, and this is something I actually didn't think, um, and I haven't thought of myself. They mentioned it to me yesterday, and I was like, it's a really, really, really good point. They're like, um, when it comes to say jujitsu or um, even whatever training goals or diet goals that you've got around yourself, think about yourself not as like a bricklayer or an accountant or whatever it is, but think of yourself and your body as an athlete's body. Whether you're a hobbyist or whether you are genuinely an athlete, at least think of yourself as though you already are. Your body will then tend to respond to that better. And But more importantly, it's just gonna make better decisions for yourself. But I always feel like we're gonna have a powerful 2023. So hit me up if you've got any questions and I'll talk to you soon.